Hello and welcome to another one of Damien 212's VC Reviews. Today I'm going to be having a look at Bonk's Revenge, which is Bonk 2, just so people know, just in case you didn't. It's also on the TurboGrafx-16. Um, very similar to Bonk 1, you've got all your standard stuff that I mentioned in my last Bonk review, uh, but if you haven't saw it, I will go through it again. Um, as you can see there, there is different modes. You can have a practice, which is one stage, then intermediate, which is four stages, and expert, which is the whole game all in one. Um, the reason why you may be thinking, why, how is it expert to go through the full game? Surely it should be the full game anyway, and you should just choose the difficulty that way. Well, it's the unique way that this bonk works. Basically, instead of worlds, you have, well, stages, rounds, whatever, um, and they're just rather large levels. They have several bosses on them and stuff like that. So it means when you die and lose continue, you have to start that stage again, that, the whole thing. So here, even if you're up to the boss of the world, then if you die, you'll have to start right back from here. And as I say, they are large stages that will take you about five minutes to get through. Um, as you can see, you can climb up the waterfalls. It's similar to how you climbed up the walls in the last one, and you can climb up the walls again. You just basically jump on them, and then you hold up and keep pushing the jump button. You can also move around on the waterfalls. You don't have to continue holding up like it's just to start with. Again, you can headbutt your enemies in the same way as you could last time, so you can do the diving headbutt or the standing headbutt. And again, by pushing the turbo button, you can do the little glide. However, you glide slower on this one, so obviously they realised that the turbo button was uh, helping people get through the game, so they must have uh, reduced that so that you can't glide as much, but the fact that you can still glide makes it a bit easier in certain sections. So again, if you want the game to be harder, just don't use that. Uh, again, there's bonus flowers that will take you to bonus stages, just like in the last one. There's extra lives, there's blue hearts that will fill up your hearts so that you can take more hits. There's fruit and veg that will fill up your energy after you take hits. So, it's just stuff like that. But this is what I mean by the rounds. Here, you're at the flower field. This would originally be um, World 1 Level 2, but instead, it's just now a huge level and you've each got different sections on it. Uh, the enemies, as you can see, have kitted themselves out differently. Uh, here, there's flowers, so they've decided to get nets so they can catch the uh, all the butterflies that are flocking to the flowers. Uh, there's a bit of a construction theme going on in one of the future stages. Uh, the meat's back, once again, as you can see. However, there are slight differences, not just the animations, but when you get full meat, you can uh, breathe fire, which is pretty cool. And uh, doing that there changes that type of flowers to there, so... Before it was an item flower, and now it's a jump platform, which is uh, pretty cool. It allows you to get up here. There's one of these bonus flowers again, and here's my first bonus stage. I'm glad I was able to show you this. This one, I have to hop through the glaciers and, well, glaciers, and I'm not allowed to slip and fall off. So, not doing very good there, then. I always feel that one. It has to be that one to give us. Uh, you can, as you can saw there, uh, you can actually uh, headbutt off certain walls and the uh, gear wall jump which is uh, pretty cool. I'll try and find a section where I can show that to you. Here, this one's fishing, and it allows me to get up the wall that way, or, again, I can just climb up like this. Here, again, with the walls. Um, I'll try and... There you go. Unfortunately, it grabbed his onto it first, but you can, as I say, by hitting the headbutt button, you can wall jump off it, which is pretty cool and useful later on. Again, the big meat's return, so I'll... Uh, oh, no, it's disappeared. Typical. I was going to go down and get you that just to show you again the full meat mode. Swimming sections are just the same as last time. You'll meet different enemies, but other than that, it's uh, just the same really. Just ex exactly the same with the swimming mode, exactly the same with the walking mode. The plants can still turn into enemies again. So it is your basic sequel really. Um, other than, as I say, this one, instead of levels and separate boss sections, you fight the bosses on the levels. So he was a sub-boss, but even though I beat him, I'd still go back to the waterfall if I die now. So it does add more of a challenge to it, especially because you don't get infinite continues. So that's something, uh, if you're looking at this thinking it might be a bit too hard because of that, then you're probably right. But if you like a good challenge, then this game's, well, it's right up your alley, really. Here we go, I'm underwater, I'm underground here, um, so they've got the construction theme on where they've been mining the tools and stuff. Here's my first time to show you the big meat. By pushing it, as I say, you can breathe fire now, which is uh, pretty sweet. It allows you to just kill the enemies that way, but you can still headbutt and the likes. 
So if you're more traditionalist and you like to headbutt your enemies rather than breathe fire on them, feel free to do so. The difference on this one is uh, with the smileys. As you can see, they're no longer coming out of enemies as often, and they're over there in fact. Although to be fair, I was about to show you, and the enemy knocked me into the end of the uh, section. Um, basically, the, the amount you collect depends on what you get at the end of a round. If you collect a lot of them, then you'll get some very special rewards. You'll get one of those blue hearts I was telling you about, and some other stuff. However, if you only get a few, then you'll get not much at all. You'll get like maybe a little bit of extra health or something like that. So you want to be on the lookout for the smileys and collect as many of them as you possibly can do. Also they're new. I forgot to show you that last time. If you head up the ground, it hurts the enemies more. And you are more powerful at the moment, but obviously with the invincibility. But I don't believe you can kill those enemies in one with your headbutt if you weren't invincible. So don't try that all too often. Normal enemies though, you still can kill them in one, two headbutts, depends on where you headbutt them. As you can see there, um, this time you'll have more hazards falling down. Here, I forgot again to show you, when you're in the second mode, you can turn the stone by attacking now. You'll fire out a little bit of uh, smoke or smog or something that will uh, that will turn the enemy to stone, which can be quite useful. Standard stuff applies to the platform genre as per usual. There's pl obviously jumping sections, there's avoiding sections and stuff like that. New to this are the blue flowers, which give you a heart, an extra life straight out. I'm saying heart because of the blue hearts. And... Uh, that's pretty much um, pretty much everything there is really. There's, as I say, it's a straight sequel, so everything I touched on the last time can be said again. So, so there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid, or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there. And don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.